guys welcome back to T's doll room it has been a very interesting 2019 year so I thought that tonight on New Year's Eve I would just do some recaps about how my year went doll wise I had a fantastic doll year personal life with the move and losing the doll room not so much but still in all i am blessed and i call myself blessed but anyway i just wanted to come to you with this last video 2019 and to show you some of the dolls that i came back from convention with winter shimmer aurelia gray east 59th collection english rose eugenia Convention Collection Exclusive. London Show Naja Convention Exclusive. And Garden of Versailles Poppy Parker. And she was a registration, a convention registration exclusive. Now, some of you may already know that when I go to convention, I always purchase extra registrations so that I can sell the extra dolls to afford my collection. I live in Louisiana and I can tell you now, I do not make a lot of money. So if it wasn't for me being able to buy these extra dolls and sell them, I wouldn't be able to afford my trip, nor would I be able to keep building my collection. Also, I wanted to note my lovely background back here. I have some vintage fashion royalty. I mean, some of the best of the best that IT ever produced. Um, on my left here, I have cosmetic takeover Natalia. She was the very first convention souvenir doll in 2004 in Canada. I went to those conventions as well. So at the end of the video, if you stay tuned, we're going to show you some close-up shots of some of these beautiful dolls. And then I also have some of my favorite dolls standing behind me. Those are the ones that I really enjoy playing with and that I thought Integrity Toys did a wonderful job in producing them. So let's get started. I'm going to debox London Show Naja from the convention collection and she's going to be the last doll review and unboxing that I do for 2019. All right, so we're going to end this year with the boxing and reviewing London Show Naja. She's one of the um, convention collection exclusive that was offered at the 2019 Live from Fashion Week convention in Baltimore this year, this past October. She is a limited edition of 700. This is the first time they made Naja the 2.0 face mold in a light skin tone. So Naja for the first time has a Japan skin tone. And that makes her just a very interesting and very exotic uh, looking doll. I mean, I was so excited to see her. I think I'm more excited about, about the doll herself rather than her fashion, even though her fashion is great, but I'm just not a big fan of the faux leather fashions because over time, they kind of flake and peel. So that's my only issue with her fashion. But otherwise, I think they did an excellent job. I'm just as enamored of the uh, doll itself as I am the box. Um, Elaine did a great job on this year's boxes. They make great backdrops for your dolls. So please keep a few of these lids so you can play with them and um, take some fabulous pictures. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's get into getting Nausea out of the box and I'll show you all of her accessories and we'll give you some close up of those and we'll put her all together and see how she looks. All right, on her certificate of authenticity, I have number 383 out of 700. This is just absolutely beautiful. And it is lined in like this uh, hunter green and brown 
houndstooth check. It's kind of silky. It's very beautiful. And she has on black fishnet stockings here. Love the zipper detail and the belt. That is gorgeous. And we'll take her hair net off here and release all these fabulous curls. Just look at this. And they'll fluff out in a day or two. So give me a little time to spring the life here. But she reminds me of a Colette doll that they did years ago that has the same type hairstyle. So I really like that. I think I'll do a comparison shot with them. I like her neutral, looks like all, almost like a mauve brown lipstick and silver shadow, beautiful lashes, honey, pale honey blonde hair. This is just a gorgeous doll. All right, let's put her right here. I'm gonna show you these Fabulous boots this doll is wearing. These are some patent leather thigh high boots that are gonna go on these girls. And y'all know how I feel about these boots on these dolls. I have a real struggle trying to get these boots on, but we're gonna get them on her tonight just so we can get the complete picture of her fashion. Lovely boots. Look at that stiletto silver heel. We have the chain detail from the heel around the vamp of the boot. These are awesome. And let's see what other accessories we have. Her um, earrings. These kind of look like amethyst drop earrings in a silver collar type necklace we have. And she has a beautiful country green purse. It's kind of modeled after one of those Dior purses that has the little chain hanging there. So we're loving the accessories, the purse, the whole fashion. Everything's looking wonderful. So let's get these boots on Naja and see what we can do with that. Okay, we have Miss London Show Nausea and all of her fabulousness. <clears throat> I love this. Everything from the zipper details on the um, jacket. I didn't realize that the uh, train was so full in the back of this coat. Now I see why everybody's going gaga over it. Um, the boots. I'm not a fan of putting them on, but she's going to be wearing these boots for a while before I get the nerve to take them off. But even the chain decaling around the boot in the heel and the vamp of the boot and the silver stiletto heel on there, they just went all out. And these um, 
this Dior inspired purse with the little metal, silver metal letters, um, an N and an F for the new face. I just think this was just the ultimate finale to my doll year, to the boxes doll and add her to the detail cabinet with her sister. So if you are able to get you one of these dolls, I would get one. Um, she's a first because this is the first time they did Naja in a Japan skin tone. Um, beautiful honey blonde hair, pale blonde hair. I'm loving everything. And this coat is really a masterpiece. It has uh, top stitching on the leatherette parts as well. And the lining of it is just silky and it is beautiful. So, Nausea retail for $150 in the sales room. And right now, I think the last time I looked, she's uh, going for around $300, $325 and up on eBay. But if you had to make a splurge, this would be a good one to make a splurge on. So, thank you for um, tuning in to see my last video of the year. And I want to thank you all for your support. Thank you for being patient with me as I work through all my little life issues and everything with the doll room and the move. And I just look forward to great things this coming new year. I decree and I declare victory in all areas of my life and that includes my doll room. So stay tuned. We're going to give you some shots, some up close and personal shots of the vintage fashion royalty behind me. And I wish you all a wonderful, prosperous, and healthy new year. Bye.